What's going on guys? This is Seha Man back with another figure review and uh, I'm going to be continuing, you know, some Spider-Man or the Amazing Spider-Man figure reviews, you know, being that the movie is going to be coming out in I think about two weeks. So I'm pretty excited for this movie. I mean, seeing that uh, carjacker scene and, you know, if, like several TV spots and trailers, the, mu the movie actually looks really cool. Um, uh, I like the I like how the um, costume you know looks in the film. So I mean we'll see you know how everything is in the movie. Now what we're looking at here is uh, uh, an Amazing Spider-Man Ultra Posable Spider-Man over 20 points of articulation. Uh, this is by Hasbro, and uh, this is the uh, three and three quarter inch figure. I don't normally purchase you know smaller figures, and I'm not gonna really be purchasing them anymore. But like I said, it's you know the Spider-Man movie's coming out, so I figured why not pick this guy up and uh, see what he's about. And again, I purchased this guy at Target. He is a little hard to come by, like if you go to like Walmart's and Targets and stuff. But I, I happened to go to a Disney store, and there was like freaking like twelve of these guys there. So you guys might want to go to your Disney stores because they sell a lot of Marvel Select, um, uh, these Amazing Spider-Mans, a lot of Marvel Universe, like the older ones, and they have some Marvel Legends there as well. Now getting a close look at the packaging. Let me get the zoom to adjust. All right, so there's a picture of the uh, figure right there on the bottom right. Over 20 points of articulation, ultra posable Spider-Man. On the back, it's, it reads super posable, so it's ultra posable and super posable. You got different um, uh, poses you can, you know, put Spider-Man into. It says an endless arsenal of acrobatic moves makes Spider-Man truly amazing. He does seem pretty acrobatic in the uh, trailers that I've been seeing. Uh, there's the other figures from the uh, line, which I really don't care about. So, by Hasbro. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, what, what I'm going to do is take a little break here. There's that, hold on, let me get that picture up uh, top there of Spider-Man. I love the um, the posters and stuff for the film. I think it looks great. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, uh, Spider-Man. So we're going to take him out of the packaging. Stay tuned, guys. Alright, so here we have the ultra posable Spider-Man outside of packaging. Uh, the figure is okay off the bat. Again, I don't really collect um, figures this size as much. Um, and he doesn't come with any accessories whatsoever, no bases, no nothing. So uh, this is all you get from the figure. And uh, let's go ahead and take a close look. I haven't really gone over the articulation, so let's let's do that now. Let's lay out. Let's go over the articulation first anyway, since he is ultra posable or super posable. Um, looks like the head can go up and down. Goes up and down pretty good, actually. You can rotate it side to side. Uh, let's see, leg. The arms go in and out, forward and back. He's got a swivel in the arm. Um, double jointed at the uh, at the elbow or bicep. The hand can go in and out. Can also rotate at the hand. Uh, no finger articulation. The other hand is exactly the same thing. He's got the upper torso articulation, which allows him to rotate. Uh, can go up and down, not too much. No waist articulation. The legs do go in and out. Uh, let's see here. If you rotate this ball joint here, you can get it to go forward and back. The double jointed knees. A swivel in the, uh, the whole leg there. He's got rotation in the leg. No lower leg um, rotation. The foot can go up and down. It goes up and down pretty good. And it looks like it has that like ankle rockers. You can see that there on this. So that's pretty cool that he has that. So you can probably get him in some uh, pretty good poses there. And the bottom of it's silver. So that looks like that's that's about it as far as articulation goes. So I guess he's a. I guess this is super posable or ultra posable. I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's another um, Spider-Man that's um, a lot more posable. But hold on a second here. Put this up here. So now getting a close look at at, at um, Spider-Man, uh, the outfit is pretty good. It's pretty nice. The detailing on the figure is nice. The paint, the paint applications is good. It's clean. Um, he's got a nice uh, logo of the spider right back there in his upper back, and he's got the same thing right there in the front. Again, I love the uniform they chose for this um, Spider-Man. You got the red line going down the pant, the pant leg there. Same thing on this one. He's got a, he's got some going on the arm as well. You can see the texturing on the uh, on the figure. He's got a nice texturing to him, so it's really cool. He doesn't have the yellow eyes, which I actually do like, to be honest with you. Um, like the Marvel Select uh, Spider-Man, the Amazing Spider-Man is really nice with the yellow eyes. 
You can see the hand there. He's got some blue lining in it. Some blue lining there. Red and blue. I really like this outfit. I mean, I mean tell me if you guys like the outfit. I mean, leave a in the comments below. Let me know if you like the outfit for this figure. And um, if you guys like, like, like the yellow eyes, you know, I'd like to know your guys' opinion on that. But the figure is nice. It's actually a really nice uh, Spider-Man figure. Um, again, he, it's it's ultra posable. To me, it doesn't really seem like he's like really all that posable. I mean, again, like I said, I think there's more Spider-Mans that that are more posable than in, in this size. I could be wrong. You know, let me know in the comments below. But he is a good figure. Uh, I think he runs you about. I forgot what this guy cost me. I think it was like eight dollars and some change. I I really don't remember. I picked him up at Target. And I know Toys R Us or um uh, the Disney store sells them for ten something. So that's that's pretty much it. I really don't have much to say about the figure. Um, like I said, I don't co really collect figures this size anymore. But he is cool. The outfit is cool. And if you're a Spider-Man fan, you're gonna want to get this fi figure regardless because he he just looks cool. And um, it's a pretty popular one out of the uh, three and three and four inch, three and three fourths, three and th ah, three and three quarter inch scale. All the other ones kind of like look goofy, but he is a really good figure. And again, the um, paint, my mine, the paint applications on mine is actually really clean. I don't have a problem with it at all. And the um, sculpt is actually really nice as well. So the detailing is cool too. So um, yeah, that's my review. A little quick review on this guy. Again, he didn't come with any accessories or anything, but he's he's a good good uh, figure to have for your collection. I think um, you guys will enjoy it, especially you guys who are into the Marvel Universe figures. Okay, guys, this is Sehaman. Today we were taking a quick little look here at the Hasbro Amazing Spider-Man. This is the Ultra Posable Spider-Man. Uh, I do recommend this figure, so uh, check him out, guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon.